Euripides is the story of a man who has done everything right. Um, he's done everything to please his parents and everything that um, their social network says he should be doing, and he seems very happy with that. But he discovers that maybe he's not. Wilhelmina <laughs> does not uh, have the same relationship with both sons. There is one son who just, she just bubbles over with joy at the mere thought of him. She looks at him and sees goodness and greatness and continuity. And the other son, she just can't, she doesn't get him at all. He's very present in every moment. And I think uh, the thing I observe about him is his keen awareness of, of things that are going on around him all the time. Uh, along with this, the tenderness of the man and the goodness and nobility of man, there is a, an emotional depth that is there. And it's just stunning to see. It's quiet. It isn't, um, it isn't overly played. It's felt. And when I look in his eyes, I see it. Well, Brian is such the antithesis of that character. This is, a, this is a comfort and a joy to be able to say because he's a very confident and self-assured human being um, and proactive in his approach to life. Uh, so it's very interesting to me to see him bring this energy of anger and angst and just, well, really, what it, what's beneath it all is a self-hatred, you know. That's the only reason people behave that way. He's an artist. He's a very um, good artist. And he's a very wise businessman. And he will continue to grow, and he will continue to do things that are different and new uh, as he continues to satisfy his audience and to expand it. <laughs>